<laughs> Hello everyone. It's been a long time since I found a video of the bird uh, rescue center and I came down to visit my geese a couple weeks ago. Um, this goose, when it first came here, I thought it was a girl because when it was, you know, just a fledgling and still peeping, you know, what I thought was she was trying to hang out with Easter a lot. So I thought, oh, well. <laughs> Because what it turns out to be is that Summer is a boy. And I'm going to change his name. Now, a few weeks ago, I came up to put some food down. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to let this bird go. I love you, Summer. But I think his new name should be Sammy. So I'm going to let this bird down and I'm going to tell you the rest. Because I won't shush. Won't shush. There we go. Now I had to do that very carefully. Uh oh. Now I, I kind of started a fight, so I kind of need to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break this. Um, I, I tried to push uh, Summer and Sammy out the door, but he went in the corner. So now Easter's showing him who who the boss is. So now Easter. Easter, calm down. Easter pretty upset with me because I was holding another male. Now, now when I went up to put some uh, lettuce down from Mama Goose, what I was calling Summer, I'm going to rename him Sammy. <laughs> Sammy totally charged me and he wanted to kick my ass so I scooped him up. <laughs> I wanted to check him out, you know. I wanted to check him out. There he goes, there he goes. There's Sammy. Now, so Sammy is your new name. Because you were a boy. Summer was a girl's name. I thought he reminded me. He kind of reminded me of like a young teenager or something. It made me think of a teenage girl. I thought of Summer. I thought that was a cute name. But sometimes it's really hard to tell what sex they are because they don't always have markings and stuff. You could kind of tell like with that China goose, his big giveaway is his voice and the size of his knob. But sometimes you just gotta wait to see who's laying eggs and who's fighting over the girls. So in this case, Easter, Easter's like, wait for me. So I decided to put the lettuce down on the ground instead of in this bowl because I just thought it was muddy and these guys clean it up. I almost thought the ground was cleaner than their feeding dish. So that was my decision. So anyways, yeah. So um, I guess I was a little surprised because what I was trying to figure out was how come, you know, for a while there, um, I would, I would see Easter run up and bite um, bite that little brown goose in the tail. And I thought, well, why is he doing that? You know, I thought that was a, thought that was a little girl. Now, that's Easter's, Easter's buddy, Eddie. And um, so now I know why. So I think, I think, oh, who I just renamed Sammy, okay? I'm kind of stuttering over my words. I'm like, I want to call him Summer. We're going to call him Sammy. Well, that's, that's Mama Goose. And I say that because every time, every season... She lays eggs, and she usually has babies, but her husband flew away, and I think um, he flew away with the kids who could fly. So they had some kids, and they flew off with Daddy. Oh, that is so sweet. I love how I love how Eddie trusts Easter. If he don't like you, he'll bite you in the butt, right, Easter? He always butt like you. So that's Easter's deal. <laughs> I love Easter. He's so soft. He's so soft to touch. So I'm excited about all this. This new life on the pond. I was gonna point out there's um, a, a a couple of Canada geese as well, who are who are on eggs. She's just on the eggs right now, and so we might have to wait another week or so to find out if these eggs are any good. And I can't wait to see. You know, I was waiting to see if Summer was gonna end up on eggs, and it looks to me like now nah. Summer's a daddy, and so we're gonna call him Sammy. Now I went over um by the other nest when I got out of the truck. And the daddy goose over there, he stuck his head through the fence and hit my shirt. <laughs> A summer sounding off. I mean, Sammy, sounding off. So I love that. I went over to Mama Goose and put some lettuce down and she didn't flinch. She let me pet her butt one time. So she trusts me. She knows I'm not trying to mess with her. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's the news on the pond. So we got a couple of parents happening over here. 
And then there's Twinkie. No. When Twinkie lived at home with us, he lived with us for a good, uh, good three years. And you know, I'm a, I'm a night worker and a day sleeper, but I'd get up early in the morning. If, um, so I live with an older couple, um, Rosie and Gary. They're both 80 this year. And, um, and so I'd get up in the morning and let Easter out so we could roam a little bit. And Easter spent a lot of time with Gary. So I had to tell Easter some, some unfortunate news. Come here, Easter. This time. Whoopsie daisy, I didn't mean to. I really had to hold Easter on my lap for this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, sweetheart. My sweet little dumpling. So I'm gonna take Easter over here. And we're gonna tell you what happened. So he was starting to wander off on me, so I had to catch him and put him on my lap. Oh boy, Easter, he's really kicking and struggling. I'm gonna try to uh, uh, jitsu him into place. So, ooh, Easter, calm down, calm down. All right, so there we are, me and Easter the Twinkie. Ha -ha. So anyways, Easter and Gary were good friends. And, um, you know, I'd be sleeping in in the morning and Easter would be out there um, hanging out with Gary. And so they spent a lot of time. It was kind of like um, I was his primary caregeeper. And secondarily, hold on, Easter, I'm not done yet. Hey, calm down. Calm down, Twinkie. Easter. Easter, remember Gary? Remember Gary? Well, our old friend died of cancer. He, um, he had cancer for some time and we didn't even know it. Well, last week he got real sick and we had to take him to the hospital. So, I usually, um, a couple times a year I like to bring Easter home and, and let these guys visit him and pet him and all that stuff. And, um, well, I got Rosie still. Rosie knows him. So I brought Rosie by one day and, um, and put, brought him over to the truck and he was tooting away and wagging his tail. So he remembers, um, he remembers Rosie and Harry and, um, I don't know if he was paying attention, but um, you know, Gary's no longer with us, Easter. So next time you come home, you'll only see Rosie. Mwah. But um, yeah, Gary was a good friend of ours. Yeah, so um, you know, we're not allowed to keep geese in town, so that's why he lives out here. So I had to tell him. So yeah, so um, unfortunately, it was unexpected. It was soon, but. The good news is it went really well. You know, Gary um, died really quickly. Um, like right after we found out why he was dying, he died really quickly, and um, and, he, and he died. He was very, you know, um, comfortable. He was very comfortable with that. So, um, but yeah, um, I, I don't know if um, I've got any videos of us. I've always kind of made our videos strictly me and Easter, and I rarely ever get other people in my videos. So, but yeah, um, before we moved out to the pond here, or I'd say moved Easter out to the pond. Him and Gary were good friends, and uh, see that? Oh, I finally got him to calm down. Yeah, so, you know, I tried to come out once a week, but I didn't make it all last week, you know. So we got a lot of cuddles to make up, because we had to deal with Gary passing and taking care of him. So now I kind of squeezed this visit in. It was a tight squeeze, but I made it. Um, but I'm only going to make one video, because I got to um, get moving. But yeah, I, did, I, I like to do my cuddles and stay in touch with Easter, and um, he remembers me. He comes to me, and um, about midsummer into fall, he starts avoiding me because he doesn't love me no more. So I hate to say it, but during mating season, he's the most friendliest bird you could ever meet. A little aggressive, but friendly nonetheless. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you do, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye now. <laughs>